begin by giving yourself a stencil outline to follow. This will give you a guideline on where your darkest shadow should be placed. Now remember, your first shadow should always be your deepest shadow choice with your smallest brush. This gives you more control over your product placement and as you work up your blend, your brushes should become larger and your shadow choice should be lighter. Remember to use the 50-50 technique to keep them shadows popping. And repeat, we are stenciling out our cut crease shape and then removing this with Vaseline. The reason we are removing the shadows from underneath is so that we get the true colour payoff from the base. It also removes any texture that the shadow may have caused, giving you a really smooth cut crease finish. Once you have got your shape perfect, pat to perfection to control the coverage of that area and then blend in the shadows. Magic!